Freedom, we go to Sail Creek. Earl Morris packed a lot of living in his 91 years. He fed Patton's army in 1945. He came home and did just about everything that he found interesting. Earl Morris held a lot of different jobs and he spent a lot of time making things. He made this 35 years ago. So did you, when you made these, did you ever sell these? Never sold one. You never sold them? No, never sold one. That has got a label, see what that says. 83. 83. Earl Moore. He made one violin out of a toilet plunger, and he made this. This is my push room. Not for sweeping, it's for picking. Long before all of this, 73 years ago, Mr. Moore was drafted into the Army. He landed in France in 1945. The fight was still going on. It was still going on, so but I was behind everything. He served in the 3rd Army under General Patton in the 48th Battalion when the occupation of Germany was just about to begin. He caught up with the rest of the Allied forces in Rosenheim, Germany. And the mess hall where I was cooking had been one of Hitler's outfits. And all the equipment was, at one time, uh, a German kitchen and uh, before the war ended. And uh, we had equipment that Hitler had uh, taken care of. But anyway, a steam cooker blew up on me. And it scalded my left side and my left side of my face. Mr. Moore spent 52 days in the hospital recovering and eventually made his way back home. Well, when I came out of the Army, I was an airplane pilot for two years. He built boats for 13 years, worked at combustion engineering for another 18 years. He also collects art. This right here is unusual for some reason. He has sold shoes, he's a musician and a magician. What is this? That's that's a picture of a floor lamp that I made on that same style and they ain't no telling what that's worth. And he spent about a decade rebuilding motor coaches. So you would take an old bus that either been burned or wrecked and just build it new again. Right, and elaborate. Earl Moore has had a long and very interesting life. I stick with one thing for a while and then I go to something else. Now, after the war was over in Europe, Mr. Moore went to Berchtesgarten and saw inside of Hitler's home there. This was just after the war ended. He said the furniture was all gone, but there were papers still all across the floors. So that happened more than 70 years ago, but it's something he says he will never forget.